Hi, and welcome to Norman F. Brown's uh, very quick Beedale market update. Uh, my name's Simon Davies, I'm the branch manager. I just wanted to fill you in on what's been happening uh, over the course of the year, how things have changed, and a little bit about what, uh, what we expect for next year. So 2020, COVID restrictions came in in the March and it was all doom and gloom. Everybody um, who commented on the property market was expecting prices to uh, crash effectively. Um, who was going to want to view houses? Who was going to want people in their houses to have a valuation, do a viewing, whatever it was. Um, whichever way you look at it, that prediction was completely wrong. Uh, 2020 was a year of low supply and high demand. 2021 was a year of even lower supply and even higher demand. Uh, that demand was borne out by largely due to um, the stamp duty holidays that were in place. The original one ended in March, then it was extended to the end of September. There was also very, very low interest rates, which meant easy, uh, money was relatively easy to borrow. Uh, and also people st having that continual li uh, lifestyle change. And with less stock available, um, a, lot of, a lot of properties that we sold last year went to best and final offers. Some went way over the asking price. Um, it was, very, again, another strange year um, with, in that regard. Um, house prices rose last year in the Hambleton area 20.6%, a ginormous rise. Uh, in Hambleton area, it was 11.5%, which it was an unbelievable rise as well. Um, so all in all, house prices did shoot up last year. The average house price now in Hambleton and Richmond stands roughly around £260,000, um, which means to get a decent deposit, you've generally, to have a decent deposit, you've got to have about £26,000 roughly um, to get a 10% uh, loan to value uh, mortgage. Um, so predictions for 2022. Um, depending on where you look, um, we've seen um, house price rises expected to continue, um, but at a much slower rate. So I remember I mentioned 11.5% in Hambleton, 206 in Richmond um, uh, in 2021. This year it's supposed to be much slower, uh, largely due to the, the, the expectation of interest rate rises, meaning that mortgages will be less affordable. But even so, the, the Office for Budget Responsibility are uh, predicting by the end of the year, there will be a, a Bank of England base rate of 0.75% to 1%, somewhere in that region. And that's, due, that's to combat the inflation um, that, that we're seeing at the moment, um, and, and, basically, and, right, and, and, how, and uh, household bills are due to rise um, as well, so that's to combat that. Um, so the expected house price rises, I've seen anything from 3.2% um, to 5% to, to nationally. Uh, Rightmove even said um, that in, our, in the Yorkshire and Humber region, they expect house prices to continue rising at about 7%. So it's still a decent rise, but not, nothing like what we saw um, in 2021. Um, so that's probably going to be another year of, of, of low, low supply and, and, and relatively high demand that may that may not be quite as, as high as it was last year as there is no stamp duty holiday anymore and, and the rising interest rates. But again, only time will tell. Don't forget 2020, they thought the prices were going to drop off a cliff and in fact, um, they did nothing but rise. So um, being another interesting year, we'll be taking it day by day. So um, in our, for our year, we, we had a brilliant year. But um, I mean, again, the low supply and high demand. We actually sold more houses than we listed last year. We listed 76 properties, um, which was by far and away uh, the highest um, the highest listing agent in the Beedale area. Which again tells us that um, that we are, that, that, that we're trusted. We have a good reputation, and we do what we say we're going to do. Um, we achieved 83 sales in the end, and actually we've got two offers in today, the 30th of December, that we are negotiating at the moment. Um, so that could even end up as um, at, at about 85, which compared to say we've actually sold more than we've we've listed, which shows the supply and demand. Um, 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 side of things that I've, that I've, that I've mentioned previously. Um, we won more awards. We won, we won another Estes uh, award, which is based on customer feedback. We won another British Property Award. Um, 
and we appeared in the 2021 Best Estate Agents Guide um, as well. So all in all, very successful year for us again. Um, moving into next year, because of the rise of Omicron, we are um, we are putting our, our COVID protocols back to good use, um, including the video tours that have become a staple of our um, our marketing. Um, but we're also uh, making sure that people are wearing masks where appropriate and that we are um, we're, we're going through people's um, details very very thoroughly before we set up viewings. Um, preferably viewers who are, are going to be uh, in a position who can proceed. We don't want to, we want to keep the uh, the number of viewings down to a minimum, um, but still make sure we sell houses. Um, so please get in touch if you're thinking of viewing to let, um, to to see if um, if you qualify to view one of our properties. Um, and equally, um, we want to try and keep people as as safe as possible. If you're a vendor, please get in touch um, for for evaluation. Um, if if you're thinking of a move, um, and if you want to start start the ball rolling early, take a look at our website where you can get a free online valuation as well. So um, if you want to give us a call, our number is 01677 We're back open from the, from the fourth of January. Uh, we hope you all had a great Christmas and uh, have a brilliant 2022. Happy New Year.